stock of the day is CSL, the global biotech company. Now this comes off the back of a broker call that's made headlines. Macquarie analysts noting it has underperformed the ASX 200 by about 11%. Despite this, the broker sees a pathway to a share price above $500 with, uh, within three years. Margins at bearing, it says CSL's blood plasma unit have been below full cast yet Macquarie sees the operations remaining the main driver of group earnings representing not only 70% of FY24 operating result, but also 90% of expected increase over the five coming five years. Growth at its recently acquired iron deficiency group V4 has stalled and the company has received poor results in the testing of its cholesterol medication CSL112. But the bullish view on the stock, not universal, as some point out that to while uh, 10% earnings growth per year may be achievable in the short term, it's extremely difficult to sustain over a longer period of time. So what do our experts think? Andrew, $500, can you see it within uh, three years? Oh, geez, I, I, it's possible, right? I mean, the, the, it's a, such a, an incredible company. Like if you had to put together a, you know, a, a who's who of the ASX uh, in terms of like the bluest of the blue chips, CSL is up there. It's a $135 billion company, does $20 billion in sales. And those sales have doubled over the last five years. Um, why the lackluster share per, uh, price performance? It's a good reminder. You know, valuation does matter. I think too often investors go, oh, it's such a high quality stock. Uh, and they're right. Um, but everything sort of has a price. And I think we've just sort of seen the share price sort of struggle to really push much higher in the absence of much firmer fundamentals. And, and while the sales growth have been strong, the earnings hasn't been. We've seen a real decline in return on equity. There's a number of factors there and and, and the actual N, NPAC growth. But, you know, I, I I can see the general thrust of what Macquarie's saying here. They've, they're pretty well positioned. I always start with, are they going to be around in five years? Like, almost certainly. And are they going to be earning more than they are today? Almost certainly. And I think it's really just a question of the degree of that growth and how much you're prepared to pay up for it. It's still, even on a forward basis, on a P of 30. Again, this is a $135 billion company. It's pretty small relative to some of the US giants, but it's pretty big, right? Um, uh, you, you're going to need to see, and, and, and you can't, I don't think anyway, I wouldn't be the kind of investor that relies on further multiple expansion. So, you know, profits really have to do the heavy lifting here. But I, I will say this, it's one of those, one of those no brainer companies for those that prefer a more passive kind of approach, because the, it, it's, it's the kind of business that even if you overpay, given enough time, it won't be terrible. So depending on where your position and what sort of your time frame is, I would say, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's almost, I think it's a, I think it's a reasonable buy, but I don't know if it's going to shoot the lights out. Even if, even if it does have some really good profit growth in here, yep. it's sort of priced for that a little bit. All right, so you would hold it, but would you buy at this level at all? I've said no, I, no, I wouldn't, and I've said that for a while now, and I fear of getting to the point where that that viewpoint will probably change. I just want to see a bit of a recovery in some of those important metrics, like the profitability metrics, like the earnings growth metrics, and see that if it can it can gain some traction there, my view mm. could very very rapidly change. All right, Michael. So we hold CSL is now into the fourth year of its consolidation phase. Um, historically, CSL has gone through these periods where it has consolidated before moving higher again. Um, Andrew makes a very good point that the business, looking at the balance sheet, is in a lot better position than it was four or five years ago, yet the share price hasn't moved, which indicates a multiple derating. Um, so that's sort of what's been playing out. $500 share price um, in three years' time, on the face of it, might seem extreme, but if you just look at the the compounded you know, performance, it's probably 15 to 20% per annum from where the share price is today. The market, um, CSL management, are expecting earnings growth to be roughly you know, 15% per annum over the next few years. So if you think the markets are rational and you think share prices increase in line with earnings, assuming no multiple change, no multiple expansion, no multiple derating, then it is conceivable that CSL reaches $500 a share. It's not as unhinged as it might seem, um, and it's not as extreme as the media was making out yesterday. So we continue to like the business. We think over time it will do well. Um, obviously, we want to see the bearing part of the business continue to recover. The volumes have recovered to pre-COVID levels, but margins haven't. But that, that recovery, it, it's occurring. It's just happening a bit slower than the market expected. So 
we're still optimistic. The share price took a big beating a couple of months ago because the market has fact, was factoring in some successful clinical trial results. Um, those clinical trials didn't prove to be as successful as many were hoping. So there was about you know, a $30 drop in the share price as a result. Um, but on a long-term basis, that was more a one-off in nature. So yeah, our view is we're happy to hold and buy CSL at these levels. All right, so essentially a double hold there for CSL.